I'm calling him Bodie McBoatface. It fits. And this is all your fault, Brian. Figures. And now she sends her hulking boyfriend to threaten me. Squirrels can be very clever when it comes to finding food. We keep goat food right here in this can by the goat stand, and the squirrels and chipmunks definitely know that it's in there. Some of the larger squirrels can actually lift this lid right off. We've tried bungee cording it down, but the squirrels just chew right through the cord. Squirrels and chipmunks aren't the only things that get into this can. They're pretty cute, but Wendy is not happy about hosting mice right here on our back deck. This time of year, this really large tree is full of these green pine cones. Maybe because he can't easily get back into that can of goat food, our frustrated squirrel has climbed this tree and knocked a bunch of them down. Look at this mess. He doesn't eat them all, just a few selected ones. If you haven't seen the video Troll Mound Story, you should watch that one first. 
This video is a continuation of that one. Shenanigan is very upset. The troll wants her to move in with him. This is not the kind of drama I wanted in my life when I made that welcome to the neighborhood gesture of family-oriented furniture for our troll. Shenanigan, are you feeling any better yet? No, I haven't talked to him yet. Okay, I promise I will. Shenanigan wants me to talk to the troll for her. Did he at least give you his name? I really don't want to just wander around down there saying, hey you, to some invisible troll. I don't want to know his name. I wouldn't want to encourage the little creep. Have you considered maybe just letting the poor guy down a little easy? No. I see she hasn't considered that approach. I'm calling him Bodie McBoatface. It fits. And this is all your fault, Brian. He just kept pointing at his two chairs and that empty cradle. I'll come up with a more appropriate nickname for him. Remember, Shenanigan, we want this troll to settle down with another troll. If he does that, he'll be too busy to bother you. And he'll be a good neighbor. Offending him really is a step back from that outcome. Have you considered just, I don't know, making yourself invisible to him? No. He is magical and can see me just fine all the time. You haven't done anything to him with your magic, have you? Like what? I don't know, like putting him in a coma with a poison apple or magically transporting him somewhere far away? Trust me, Bodie McBoatface is no Snow White. But I hear Siberia is nice this time of year. Well. Don't do anything too drastic. Let me see what I can do first. Mr. Troll? Mr. Troll? I'm the one who made that new furniture for you. Mr. Troll? I've got a message for you from Shenanigan. Is she ready to accept my offer? What did she have to say about me? Thank you for letting me see you face to face. It's nice to meet you. My name's Brian. Shenanigan is just not interested in being with you. Figures. And now she sends her hulking boyfriend to threaten me. It's not like that at all. Wait, don't disappear yet. Did she have anything nice to say about me at all? Well, I'm not sure I should tell you the name that she calls you. It's Bo Buddy. That's it. Buddy. Bottom line, Shenanigan is just not romantically interested in you. I'd like to help. I'm a good listener. Maybe I can give you some good advice. Tell me, what are romantic relationships like for trolls? Our culture is more traditional with very specific gender roles. The guy is in charge. The girl needs to be humble and obedient. I understand and can see that your sense of honor is very important to you. Buddy, do you think Shenanigan lets me control her even if my control was meant to keep her safe and happy? Sure, isn't that how it works, Brian? Far from it. Shenanigan actually holds all the cards. I can't even see or hear her unless she allows me to. Tell me, do all troll women really like being told what to do all the time? How would you feel if the shoe were on the other foot?
I can't imagine what that must be like for you, Brian. When you put it that way, I'm kind of glad shenanigan is your problem. There's more to it than that, buddy. Honor and respect are important elements in a relationship. But those things mean even more when they're freely given rather than forcefully demanded or even just expected and therefore not really appreciated. It doesn't sound easy. What would the other trolls think if my woman disrespected me? The important thing is that you both make each other happy. You may just have an advantage here over all the other trolls. Tell me more. I like having the advantage. First of all, you do have a really excellent place to live when you do find a lady troll. If most of the other troll guys have similar perspectives and intentions as what you've been describing, then it may be a whole lot easier for you to find a really great future Mrs. Troll than it will be for them. Imagine, buddy, what it will be like from the young lady's perspective when you honestly approach them with the genuine feeling that their dignity is important. They'll sense this about you, and the girls will probably fall all over you to catch your eye. You've given me a lot to think about. I thought you were just a good weed puller. I never would have imagined you might have such wisdom to share. I'm glad to have met you too, Brian. Does this whole dignity suggestion thing mean I shouldn't slap her around occasionally so I can make myself look a little more important? You shouldn't slap her around in public or in private. Remember, if you want her to be proud of you for something, then you should be proud of her for something. There's a new and interesting development in our little troll saga. Buddy has left his original chair right here on the ledge of the pond, right outside my shop where he knows I come and go from all the time. He probably wanted it up here so I wouldn't not notice it and accidentally step on it if it was on the ground. But why is he bringing it back to me? Is it a trade for the furniture that I made for him? I'll have to ask. Buddy, how's it going? I just wanted to know why you left me your chair. I can't thank you enough for your advice, Brian. Heck, I'm almost tempted to tell you my real name, but I do like the way Buddy sounds. I found a girl and it's amazing. Can you believe it? She actually feels lucky to be with me. She thought it might be a good idea if both of our chairs had similar craftsmanship, so that's why I left that other one for you. If you're curious, I gave her the smaller one, and I've been using the taller one that you made for me. That's great. I'm happy for you. I'll work on that chair right away. Tell me, it hasn't been very long. Are you two just dating, or is it a little more serious? She has moved in. She's getting used to the new place. I'd introduce you, but she's a little shy. We are talking about honeymoon destinations. Shenanigan tells me Siberia is pretty nice this time of year. Wow, that's great. But I'm not sure Siberia is quite right for a honeymoon any time of year. Is there anything I can do for you, Brian? Can you use your magic to keep the squirrels out of our goat food? Squirrels are too persistent for that. Have you thought about maybe getting a cat? We've been meaning to, but one thing or another always seems to come up. Yeah, life is like that. Is there anything else I can do for you, Brian? You could let all the other trolls know about our YouTube channel. More subscribers would help, and having more people see the videos is the way to make that happen. I'm afraid trolls don't use high technology 
Let's just say I owe you one. That's right. No computers or cell phones. Since you can't send me a text, if you need to talk to me again, just put one of those chairs right back up where you left that first one. By the way, would you like to take my advice about dignity to the next level? I'm all ears, friend. You will be unstoppably popular with all the other trolls if you follow a philosophy that every single sentient being deserves infinite respect by virtue of the simple fact that they were born here on this good earth. <laughs>